Okay, so good evening. Welcome. We're starting a Crusader Kings 3 stream. Could well be my first time streaming Crusader Kings on my own channel here. It, uh, yeah, let's deal with the baggage here and now. Crusader Kings is not a series that has held much interest with me in the past at all. CK2, well, let's not even give CK1 time day. CK2, is, to me, has always seemed kind of janky, but more than that, it's a character-focused game. It is the bedrock of what Crusader Kings is all about, and that just doesn't hold appeal with me. I like nations, I like economies, I like wars. I, I don't like people and their petty likes and dislikes. However, CK3 looks so good that I'm going to overlook that and jump into it anyway. Uh, it's going to be pretty painful for me and probably for you as well, because this might as well be blind. I am no good at the game. There's going to be very basic concepts that fly way over my head, so I'm not averse to a bit of backseating for this one. No way, no how. Right, let's just jump right into it. Mistakes will be made, but that's all in the spirit of learning how to get good. I think the this whole streaming experience of CK3 is going to go one of two ways. Either... I'm going to play a campaign or two and be like, yeah, okay, that was nice, but no lasting value on me. Or it's going to get its claws in deep, and then I will aspire to get good at it the same way I did with EU. Okay, where are we going to start with all this? I'm going to start the same way I started my, uh, my EU3 career, and that's over in Scotland. But we can boil it down a bit more. We can go all the way to Mori which is my home, uh, and to make it even better, they've actually got Keith on the map here as well. Now, there's a fellow here, and I was internally jumping for joy when I saw him. This is Duke Mal Schnechtai of Mori. Now, I was never that into CK2, but my housemate of many years ago, he was big into the game, and when he was playing as God knows who, he was absolutely ravaged by Mal Schnechtai. It was all he could do to survive. Eventually, the old bastard who ruled with an iron fist what was popular for it died off. But then his son, another Mal Schnechtai, came to the throne and attacked once more. So ever since then, the very name has given me cause for joy. So we are going to try to do him proud, undoubtedly fail. One thing that I should really look for is, first of all, enabling Iron Man, because uh, that's just how we roll around here. And more so, I believe there was something about nudity. And whilst I'm sure Patrick Stewart's happy about that, where can I turn it off? Here we go. Never. I mean, this is a family-friendly stream after all. Good thing that keeps Iron Man happy. Okay, let's go. Schnachtai. Yeah, all these autosaves is uh, McDon Chad. Let's not be having any of that. Okay, let's get moving. So straight away, I got like no idea what's going on here with the UI. I played through the tutorial so I can stumble through in a very basic sense, but I imagine half the people watching now have a better idea of how to play this game than I do. That will change. Soon it'll be a quarter, then a tenth, and then perhaps nobody will know the game like I do. There's my home, Keith. Well, I say home. I don't, I don't go there often, and I've never spent much time there. But uh, it's looked over by analytic villain, my marshal, Dad, hmm? Dabid, Dabid of Keith. Oh well, I'm in charge of you, but I have my own liege, Malcolm the Third of Scotland. Hmm. He doesn't really like me, and I don't seem to like him. We've got some kind of rivalry going on. Better have a William on standby, just in case, Jake. Remember the last time the game supposedly censored all the nudity? That's fine. Nobody of importance remembers that, so it's okay. Right, Malschnechtai. What do we know about the lad? Poor diplomacy, good marshal, average stewardship, poor learning. Uh, he's got prowess, whatever, that meant, uh, whatever that's meant to mean. Uh, let's see. We have our primary title as the Duchy of Moray, so everything highlighted there is what we're meant to own, but we have problems. We've got this upstart in Bachen. Who's this? Right. It's just a child. It's a child who's going to be living out the rest of his days in my dungeon, if we have our say in that. Uh, and then there's a slightly larger concern, Harald IV, hard ruler of Norway. Um, does he directly own this or not? 
No, the Duchy of the Northern Isles is Duke Paul Toffinson. So I need to hope that uh, this old coot dies off, has some kind of split off, and then I'll be able to deal with the Northern Isles myself. Don't know why the Northern Isles get to be part of Moray, but so be it. We're going to do that. Prowess is the character's fighting ability. Well, I'm sure we'll do just fine at that. If there's one thing I remember about Mal Schnachtai, it's his ability to fight. So, I, I need to deal with things here, uh, and I need to get familiar with things that I need to take care of. Thankfully, there's some alerts at the top that keep us on our toes. There's an advice encyclopedia. Great. I'll probably need advice as we go along. Uh, I need to choose a lifestyle. Now, Mal Schnechtai was an incredibly martial man, but above all, the reason he was so feared is that he was incredibly good at keeping people both intimidated, loyal, and happy with him. So, regality flows from the ritual, tradition, and glory. That's the Mal Schnechtai I know. Let's do it. I mean, I don't know what's optimal here. Perhaps I will never know, or someday I'll be the one to decide what's optimal. Who will know? We're not married. Now, marriage is something that I'm not really comfortable with in CK, in that I don't know the ins and outs of it. I don't know what to look for, I don't know what's best, and maybe that's just the very idea. There are two things in life I never go to. One is weddings, and the other is funerals. So, I'm not big on the whole marriage thing. Nonetheless, it's really important that we get ourselves a... Uh, well, yeah, we need uh, we need to spread the Malschnechtai seed. So who are we going to suss out? I don't know, but I don't want no dirty Norwegians. Perhaps, perhaps we can mate our way to the top in the Scottosphere. Uh, Malcolm, you, you got any lasses around here? It's a boy. It's a boy. It's also a boy. You got anything that isn't a boy here? Even your siblings are all... How do I tell at a glance if they're male or female? I'm, I'm not actually very good at that, to be honest. Get a wife with good stewardship, basically. Nonsense. i got to make my way up to the top in the Scottosphere. Hmm. You've got friend and a rival, and you've got your court, but it doesn't look like it's... doesn't look like it's happening. Just marry a horse. Okay, there is one thing that I fundamentally don't agree with with CK, and that's its reliance on memes. Not a fan, personally. Alright, what am I looking for? Lisan. But you're a Saxon. No, nonsense. We've got to keep things within our heritage here. So we're going to look for only fellow Gales. A lowborn. Ah, I can't be marrying a lowborn. Why are there so many accursed lowborns around here? Like, if I were to marry you, I'd lose a ton of prestige for it, so we can't be having that. Jake, make sure your wife is below 30, otherwise she's not going to have kids. That's true that. Sorry to break it to you, but it's a necessity. Jings, are all the Gaelic lowborns? This is, this is grim tidings. Okay, I would settle for a Scot if we knew any good Scots out there. Any Scots in power, though. Highlanders are the lowest of the lowborn. It's pretty grim, isn't it? Uh, okay, who do we have here? Ah, over in Edinburgh. I could always get betrothed, but the age difference might be a bit of a weight. That can't be good either. Jeez. Well, I could always just settle for a lowborn. After all, they're going to become a highborn in due time. Like this 21 year old, uh. Tile Tew. She's just, zealous, honest. Lowborn, sure, but ah, what the hell. Come join me. Uh, hammering on the prestige for sure, but I'm sure we'll survive. Man being older is fine. Of course it is. It's just the natural order of things. Right, let's get... Ooh, issues. You can declare wars. You're second in line to inherit the... Um, Momardom of Fife. So who's first in line? Current holder, line of succession is this guy, then me. So what if you were to plop off the face of the earth. Well, this guy's 38. I'm sure he's got a good bit of life in him. Hang on. 
Oh, you're unmarried and in Fife. Bah, humbug. <laughs> Time to murder number one. Well, I mean, we could go and scheme ourselves a murder, but I, I don't see that being quite so likely. There are things that I should scheme up, and that's getting on Malcolm's better side. I wonder if that can even be done. Regardless, let's try and give it a go. If the scheme is successful, he'll like me a tiny bit more. God, he already hates me, so I'm not sure if that's going to work too well for us. Maybe that's a waste of time. Who's more worth getting to like us, then? Hmm, I don't know and I don't care, and I've already spent too long thinking about this. So what I need to do is deal with Buchan here, because there's been too much not fighting here. The reason I can fight him, and you do need Cass's belly, is because I, uh, I lay claim to Mori, and he's in Mori. So he's going to be mine. He has inferior forces, so this shouldn't even be worth thinking about. Just do it, raise the armies, get in there, slaughter him, and make the northeast mine. Mm hmm, you'll be joined with my acquaintance in holy matrimony, may God grant you many children. I hope so. Achievement get till death do us part. With my marriage, the realm expects us to throw a suitably extravagant wedding. I do like money, and I don't have a lot of it, but I did just burn a ton of prestige, so let's get that back. Now, who's actually in command here, and why is it not me? I have considerably... well, I got a little bit better advantage. It's a knight in this army, he's a forest fighter, and we're about to go fighting in forests. I assume that's forests. How does one quickly check the, um, the terrain of a place? There's going to be a lot of things like this that I need to... Oh, no, it's a tiger. Yes, there's well-known Scottish tigers. But it works in tiger, too. Okay, maybe it is better that it's you, then. On you go. If you're that great, slaughter him. Make him mine. Not in the carnal sense. Our knight killed Eogan. I don't know who Eogan is. And he... Okay. You know, I rather like this knight fellow. Slaughtering everybody he comes across. Are you wringing the money out of the peasants, Jake? Every day is make money day. Mm, perhaps it should be. But I don't like the hit I did to my prestige there. Right, you're retreating, and I don't like that. I want every last one of these buggers dead and buried. I don't know if he's going to do that long, shattered retreat thing. That's something I'm going to need to get a feel for. Either way, I'll chase you all around the lowlands if I have to. Point is, the northeast is mine. So what do we have around here? Concarden! Oh my. Aberde oh man, the time I spent in Concardenshire. Peter Heed, Mortloch, Banff, Keith. This is, this is cracking me up more than it should, but it is. Alright, have at. You're rolling good, but unfortunately for you, you are extremely dead. Jolly well done. Back we go. Our forces captured... Forces captured some guy. The Stuart of Buchan after winning that. Well, that's pretty good. Victory and victory. Yes. Yes, it was. But that means that I have uh, prisoners. And I want to see what we've done with that. Yes, prisoners. I should reassess my council at some point, but we'll wait till after this. Court physician, that's not something I'm totally uh, in line with. Hooks and secrets, factions... Well, okay. Hmm. Prisoners, any new death sounds to hear? I wouldn't know. But perhaps someday we'll find our prison. The other court tab of the prisoners, Jake. Domain, vassals, succession... Oh yeah, court tab. Here we go, prisoners. So this poor bugger. He's not that great at anything. He is Gaelic, so he, so he might be a good man. The thing is, nobody would accept his ransom, so I guess he's just going to rot there for a while. This isn't like uh, Rimworld. I don't need to care about feeding and such my prisoners, probably. And I certainly don't have to worry about a breakout. I having this issue with RimWorld lately, lately where they'd stage a breakout and uh, as I kill them, I'm told, oh, we killed an innocent prisoner. So he was breaking out. Anyway, we're back. We're laying siege. 
Uh, we just need to siege up the capital, I believe. No need to carpet siege. And this shouldn't take long. Wonderful. Now, what are you up to? Hmm. Norwegian army casually strolling around my lands. Won't be having any of that. So I have the sociopaths guard the prison. Yeah, it was a... It was a colony-wide malice, did not like that. So, no siege weapons, siege progress one per day. It's fully stopped, it's normal, desertion. Yeah, okay, we need a breach to assault, and probably not going to manage that with no siege weapons. That's fine, just poison the wells. I mean, it's only Banff. As long as the Banff Springs Hotel still comes along, we're going to be okay. Uh, Catholicism's fervor decreased. Okay, don't really care though, so away you go. Basic rule in CK3, attacker wants to occupy, defender wants to beat armies. I see. Yeah, I, I'm really going to need to get to know the finesse of fighting. It's gonna. I'm going to be like all those people that play EU4 and be like, I had the bigger army, why didn't I win? Well, there's a lot to understand. There's a lot to understand, most likely, about this that I simply don't. There's numbers and there's advantage, great, but I'm sure there's a lot more to it. Like this quality stat that we have. What could it all mean? Men at arms, knights, levies, soldiers. He just doesn't know. And I'm, I'm happy to put up my hands and say there's plenty I don't know, and plenty I'm keen to learn to get good at this game. It's unusual seeing Jake be new at a Paradox game. It's been years, says Dragonzord. Yeah, the thing is I had the opportunity to play and learn it as well, but I didn't. I wasn't even sure if I was going to be getting into this, but uh, then I was sure. Then it felt like the right thing to do. Especially if I can play as Mal Schnechte. I hadn't considered that before. I'm going to be unsure what to do after this, though. Oh, right, we win that. We have a 100% war score. That means you are going down and out. Enforce our demands. Uh, allies share based on contribution. Well, it was all me, of course. I gain fame. Mm hmm. Excellent. Blessing upon you and your house. You're much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to the bloodshed, I comply. Now, we didn't kill the guy. It's just that we... Uh, we now simply have him accept us as, a, as his overlord. Now, what's up with you, anyway? Paranoid, callous, brave. So I won't be able to instill much fear in the guy. I wonder if I could just take away this and hold it myself. I'm not sure how much I can do by way of primary holdings. Here we go. I have three of six. My stewardship increases it. So what do I directly hold myself? Hold on, I have a claim on the Kingdom of Scotland? That would be a tough one to push through. Knights are as strong as ten men, or often several tens of men. You want as many as you can get. Levies are weak, peasants with some pitchforks, men at arms are the precursors to modern soldiers, expensive but strong, can counter each other. It's a very long-winded way of saying not much, Borm. Gotta say. From what I've played, the quality stat is somewhat irrelevant. It's just easy to glance at whether or not an army has knights or men at arms, and how many are uh, relative to levies. Okay, sounds like something you get a feel for then, not to worry. Any thoughts to tormenting chat by naming characters after them and committing crimes, says TTC. Oh, definitely. I think there's a good... Oh, yeah, i got to disband my soldiers. I think there's a good... Um... That was pretty cool. There's good potential here, if I can hold a train of thought for five seconds. Good potential for some murder bingo in this. So, yeah, I am a bit, uh, a bit keen on that. Mm-hmm. Alright, do we have any new issues thanks to that? Realm will lose land when Vassal dies. Your Vassal, Moramir Blav Buchen, holds titles that will be inherited by rulers that are not your vassals. Primary way to avoid this is to reach your crown authority to high crown authority. Good point. Well, how does one do that then? Crown authority, huh? Sounds like a decision to increase that. Uh, I don't know that's happening. Toggle the outliner. Ah. 
So maybe that would be good to have on, especially when I can keep track of my armies that way. Crown Authority, here we go. Pass Limited Crown. We have Autonomous Vassals, I see. If I want to pass Limited Crown Authority... Ah, uh, but we would need High Crown Authority to do that. But what does this do? Titles could be revoked. Ooh, that would be rather nice. Vassals can be retracted. Da 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 da. We can pass this. Well, why don't we? Yeah, looks good to me. My subjects are just going to have to put up with that. A faction was created against you. Your vassal. Uh, I just put you to sword, and now you're creating a faction against me. The Liberty Faction. Disgusting. Too weak to send an ultimatum. It's only got one member. See, my other vassals like me, don't they? Oh, that's me. Of course I like me. Well, they barely like me, but they like me a little bit. Good enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need a limited before I can get high. I doubt they're going to like it if I push for high, though. Right, with that done, I need to combat my inner sense, which is just uh, fabricate, claim, go to war, win. Much as I'd like to. For example, we got this chappy on the Isles, right? I don't have a Cassus Belly to take over the Isles for myself. And they're probably not worth that much. It'd be much more valuable to go and take Lothian because of its astonishingly high development. But we could be a ways away from that. Zets is throbbing in, saying, Forgetting me to Frostpunk and Xenonauts. Good luck, Jake. Cheers. I'll need more than good luck to get through this one, though. Because I don't know the best way forward in this game whatsoever. Friendly exchanges. I get an opinion of... Da -da -da. Your spouse's average diplomacy led to this windfall. Yes, my, sp my beautiful spouse. Can we have some kids, by the way? I I'm really, really needing some kids. Seduce and romance. Yeah, let's get seducty. The Mal Schnechtai line needs a lot of kids. I wonder if you can start limitless amounts of schemes. Personal diplomacy with Malcolm. Uh, I mean, Malcolm's 37. I doubt he's going to drop dead anytime soon. One scheme at a time. Okay, well, I'll get some kids first to su uh, secure the succession. Then we should be okay. Advice. Protect against factions. Faction is dangerous if unchecked. Vassals and counties join factions when they're dissatisfied with your rule. Counteract them, increase their opinion, or become dreaded. I'd like to become dreaded, but I think I need to learn a bit more about the game to go, uh, to go for that. Low popular peasant faction. Da -da 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 -da. Well... Two of my guys only barely like me, so I should probably do something about that. But I, I think uh, the longer my rule goes on, the more they like me. The problem is I have a short reign right now. They're all considered powerful vassals, though, which is a bit of a shame. It's very tempting, though, because this guy's causing me so much anguish. Right, I mean, I, I just put you in place. Should I not revoke your title by now? I mean, of course he's not going to accept. He starts a war, lose da 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 But what do my other vassals think if and when I do that? The control level changed by minus 30. Rivalry, faction... Don't know. The only thing you have claim to though is your uh, your holding of Buchen. Your subjects lose twenty opinion, is what it says there in red. I'm sure it does somewhere. 
I'm sure it does. I'm just not seeing it somehow. Still, my other vassals aren't that happy with me, so perhaps I should consider not being so uh, so rough on the guy just yet, even though I want to. Ah, gift of labor. Everyone appreciates a gift, but perhaps I could come up with something truly unique that will make a real impression on the Duchess. Yes. Wood carving of a castle? Okay, well, what do we know about her? She's just zealous and honest, so she'd probably like something to appeal to her zealousy. Housecrest, poetry. I forsake this opportunity. Mm. Joys of life. Yeah, her house crest is pathetic and lowborn. We're not having any of that. Let's go for some poetry. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for the poem you gave me. I can scarce remember the last time I received such a wonderful gift. That's what you get for coming from such a lowborn. But there we go. Budding interest. See, that, that's the part that doesn't really hold much for me. I'm not too, uh, not too caring about these people and their pitiful lives. What I'm caring about is expanding Mori. First it's Mori. Well, I mean, Mori today is just this. And this is all Aberdeenshire. I'm going to take over that. I mean, that Norway can keep this as far as I'm concerned. Once you get above a certain point about here, all the weirdos get real crazy. Who are your neighbors allied with? Well, there's a thought. I haven't really been seeking out much in the way of alliance, so if I get attacked by somebody else, I could be in a bit of trouble. But what of Athel? Right. Earl Malmure. Doesn't appear to have much diplomacy of his own. Far from home, a stranger is brought before me. He's been waiting outside for a week. The man bows. My name is Dietrich Highness. I've traveled far and wide and seen many things. My family and I are weary of the road. If you allow us to stay, I'll share my knowledge of the world and be your loyal servant. I, uh... You gain 75 stress because you're zealous. Yeah, that's right. Who is Who is even this guy? You get a weak hook. No immediate effects. He could become a courtier. And he would convert to Catholicism. Hmm. I got I got no clue what the relevance of that is, but hey, on you come then. Hmm. I have a Chancellor right now, and he's bloody useless. But he is my vassal, so if I kick him out, he's gonna be quite unhappy. How and where do I change out who we have here? Now, for a Chancellor, you want the best diplomacy around, and we certainly have much better. Much, much better. Like, why do I have a Knight so good at diplomacy working... Oh, and so terrible at not diplomacy. Hmm. Let's see what happens here. Oh, yeah, he's gonna... Ugh. Yeah, making my subjects unhappy doesn't seem like a great idea. I have no idea how to balance uh, my subjects' happiness with me with actually getting stuff done. Now, see that guy that I brought in? How can I see what can be done with hooks? He has no idea. There's a lot I have no idea about here. But that's why I'm playing through, right? I didn't get great at EU overnight. God, no, that took a long time. If I'm going to get good at this, this will probably also take some time, but I've got quite a setback for not having a lot of CK2 knowledge. But that is okay. Giving your vassals gold always makes them happy. Yeah, but they want quite a lot of gold, and I don't have lots of gold. No, that's me. I can't just give me loads of money. Alright, my castle, my castle, my castle, but then that's where you are and that's where you... No, that's my bishop. There's my vassal. 
Anyway, if I wanted to interact with you and give you some dosh. Where is even give dosh? Here's send gift. Oh god, he wants 300. Not happening. Uh, Elgin! Ah. I wonder if it's just more known for the Elgin disaster than anything else by now. Right, celebration has come to an end, the evening's entertainment is over, and there's a reading. Cleric arrives, wondering what the guests would like to hear, and I see my chance to impress. Ho oh, ho! I'm all about impressing here. Song of Roland. With possible outcomes that I don't know which is more likely to happen or not. A perfect state would give us a chance to learn. Smoldering chemistry, something pious. Yes, well, you're uh, you're zealous, so something pious sounds good. Aha, uh -huh, completely engrossed. Good choice, Mal Schnechtai. I am pretty great. Send your spy master to the Scottish capital to gather secrets. You'll get hooks on other Scottish vassals. That way, you can earn easy money. I do like easy money. I don't know much about my spy master though. Let's have a look at you. Spy master is god awful at intrigue. Who even are you? My spy master, vassal, and knight. The thing is, that there are only s there are only five council positions, right? How are you meant to keep your vassals happy if you can't give them all out? In any case, you are terrible. Who do we have that's considerably better at it? I mean, you are, but you're also great at martial. Eldad is that guest we brought in, right? Unmarried from Mori. Hmm. Courtier. Yeah, but you're a lot better at it than this useless guy. Mm hmm. You don't want that many powerful vassals. Well, we're not very powerful ourselves, so it's hard to do much about that. All right, you know what? You might be poor at it, but we're going to have you do something anyway. Find some secrets and do so. Where can I send you to do that? I mean, I'd rather have you do it in Lothian, right? Left click on location to assign, right click to cancel. Find secrets in King Malcolm's court. Yes, absolutely. Although you'll probably get found out, and that will be grim. You want to be more powerful than your vassals so they can't get upset at becoming uppity. Yes. Well, let's see. I should probably do a... Oh, God. My vassal holds Keith. Here I am in Elgin. Ugh. Grimbo. Why can't I have the whole place? In any case, I should probably do up Elgin for a bit. Hmm. I want more tax. Oh, my beloved wife. With the help of hands, mouths, and limbs, we reaffirm the devotion we swore before gold, uh, God. <laughs> Somehow read that as gold. Perhaps in a more carnal fashion than intended. Alright. The bonds of marriage are enough? No, I don't think they are. But the bond of money is strong. Stronger, perhaps. I need whatever gives the most dosh reasonably. Let's get some forestry done here. The forestry commission can start up. Lots of leveling up to be done on these. There'll be a lot of things that I'll figure out as we go along. One will be how to get loads of money and then invest that into making loads more money. How's that faction looking, by the way? Military power is too... well, it's too weak, but I'm sure it's growing. I need to care about my subjects. I also need a better way to keep an overview of my subjects here. Scheme at the court. We do not know who someone is plotting to kill us. I wonder who. Okay, well, at least it's known. It's time for you to face the judgment of God. Hmm. Under realm, Jake. You'll see all your subjects. Yeah, there we go. Too many powerful vassals, you see. Alright, I am no doubt trying to be killed by uh, by this guy. 
I sincerely doubt he's going to succeed, but my spy master isn't that great. But if I catch him trying to murder me, then that'll give me a good casus belly to strip him of his everything. So I really do think I need someone better than you. I mean, look at you. This is all you hold. You're, you're nothing to me, right? Nothing. So... So, so, so... If I can remember the right things to do here, I should definitely consider throwing in my courtier here. Courtier is an unlanded character who's a ruler in the court. Yeah, that they are. What's going on here? Primary heirs of their own dynasty. What? Well, first let's get this better spy master so that I can be protected from those that do me ill. What was the problem here? They're not of our dynasty. Why? You need some kids urgently. Oh yeah, okay. I thought he I thought he'd popped out of my spouse. I'm working on it though, right? We've lain, right? And time ticks by quickly, so let's get ourselves some kids. Odd, I thought Chick wasn't interested in CK3. I'm not interested in CK in general, but we're changing that. Are you still uh, finding those secrets? Oh, you will be. Good. But with this, I suspect that faction is going to grow because you are very not happy with me now, right? Oh, yeah, you hate me. Fired from the council. Wants a seat on the council. Sounds difficult to manage having lots of vassals. I'd rather just uh, strip them all of their positions and take it for myself. Any chance you'll adopt Imperator as well? Who's to say? In my work at the court, I have failed to find any secrets. However, the truth does not have to stop us. It would be simple to make sure that Lachlan suddenly did have secrets he didn't want to get out. Ah. His guest, Lachlan. I don't know anything about that guy. I have this option because I have the truth is relative perk. I do? Nice. I get a strong hook on Lachlan. Again, what do we know about this Lachlan character? He's unlanded. He's basically useless. I don't think he's worth anybody's time. But that'll make him like me. And let's see... Oh, yeah, he's, he's staggeringly useless. Leave it be. If you couldn't find anything good, then that's your problem. Preaching unorthodox doctrine because of our chaplain's crappy skills. A lot of the people we have are pretty crappy at what they do. Malcolm has declared war on petty king Gudrod. That has suddenly become my war. That could be a problem. Hmm... You telling me I should get up and fight for this? I probably should. Oh, but I've got a new lifestyle perks. A uh, new lifestyle perk, rather. I can use befriend scream. Yes. Befriend scream. Prestige for dread. Sway benevolent intent. Thoughtful. Oh, being able to uh, sway people for money easier sounds pretty awesome. But I do like better scheme power as well. Let's take that. I think if your liege goes to war, you automatically join, but you don't have to fight. You can give your liege levy. No, I will be fighting here, right? Uh, there's land around me that I want to get involved with. So, so, so. Hmm? Faith, religion. Want to learn more? Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Tooltip modes. Nah, we're good with that as well. Protecting against schemes. Subjects have high opinion, and always keep your spy master loyal. <laughs> always. Uh, protecting against factions, we heard about that. And we're working on the making babies right now. You can declare war on King Harald IV of Norway to earn fame and expand your realm. Can I, though? Are we not currently at war? Feels like we're 
currently at war. Hmm. 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 If we work our way up the chain, I mean, I could, but he he has a vastly superior force to ours. So I sincerely doubt that's the way it's going to be going. No, I think I should show my piety towards uh, King Malcolm. Take up swords and fight. Your liege is at war for his own goals, not yours. You're not obligated to do anything. That doesn't tell me whether or not it's a good idea to do anything. Oh, but I could rise up against it. Ah, just look at the army he's boasting, though. I got nothing on that. You are nothing for joining. Well, looks like I'm sitting this one out, then. Free my people. <laughs> Heavens no, Dark Young. There's only one true freedom in this world. Nice of the game to also save for me. Took your place as culture head. What do you mean I'm not the culture head? The most influence over their culture is now taken over by the Isles guy. Well, good thing he's getting crushed by Malcolm. Curiously, Malcolm. Ah, you're a Scot. Am I a Scot? Because we've got some crossing over here. Maybe it's because it's ruled uh, by a Scot. Because Mal Schnechtai here is as Gaelic as they get. I don't have any strong feelings about Gaelic versus Scots. I'll take either. Mm -hmm. I like the tooltip mode. Very nice and simple. The whole highlighting and the, the fact that we have these animated um, UI pieces as well. You can tell a lot of work and love went into this. That's a lot of men from the Isle of Man. Those bloomin' Manx. By the way, are we done with this building project? Can we up our logging... Ca oh, wait, no, it's still being constructed. Fair enough. Do we have any kind of construction thing showing that? Not that I can see. Aren't the Irish Gaelic as well? No, the Irish are Irish. Right. This is what makes me feel uneasy about the game. I, I don't like playing a strategy game where I'm just waiting and seeing. I always like to be taking an action. The problem is I don't know what action to take in this kind of game. No, I'm certainly not swaying this guy. He hates my guts. I need to murder him. But uh, I would most likely be caught and exposed and nobody would really like that. And I doubt he's going to want to agree to any of my modifications that involve him being dead. Ah, well, there's a point. I remember now. I took some prisoners, didn't I? Well, I took a prisoner. He's been in my prison for years now. And, well, it doesn't seem like anybody wants to pay for him. Because it would be you, and you're not having any of that. I could just let you go, right? I could also execute you and become a dreadlord, but not yet. Gain a weak hook on the guy. Oh, I could recruit him, but he's not that great. I'll simply gain a hook and then off he trots. If he is under uh, what's-his-face. Good lord, he's not the boy anymore now, is he? If he is uh, reigning under you, then perhaps... Perhaps... I'll be able to use that hook. There we go. The sooner you die, the sooner I can take over. That's right, that is me. Jake, start plotting to seize the throne. I do want to uh, to rule Scotland, of course. But Malcolm hates me, and he's so much more powerful than me. Interestingly enough, I do have my claims on Scotland, but yeah, he is superior. Is the wife pregnant yet? Not that I can tell. I thought we laid ages ago. Educate child? We have a child? I don't have a child. Oh, right. It's educate any child. Still. How do we get ourselves a kid? 
fabricator hook. Just need to get to work. Maybe she's barren. It's always possible. I have no choice but to accept your conditions. Farewell. Now, about using that hook. I didn't actually pay attention to how he relates to, uh, to more mare here. I've already forgotten who the guy I just let out was as well. I think it was you, wasn't it? Yes. So what can I use that hook for? Don't know. If you click more in the category with Sway on your wife, you should have a Seduce and Romance option. Yeah, but I already did Seduce her. Ah, well, there's Romance, but it's just another scheme. Why should I scheme in order to... Oh, what's this? While performing his du uh, her duties as my spy master, they've uncovered a secret about Duke of Lothian. He has taken my sister as a lover. Who can even say how it happened, but the sheer disgrace for them. Oh, that this becomes known. Alright, so we learn of the Duke's lover's secret. I struggle greatly to see how that uh, relates to anything. There's a the thing. Lots of people, lots of names, and I have a hard time caring too much about them. Regardless, let's get romantic with a wife. I need children, and I need them now. Time has come to let my feelings towards the Duchess be known. I want her to remember this day for the rest of her life. A sparring match. What, with her or with somebody else? Mm-hmm. Whatever, let's just sing for her. Her cheeks turn a deep pomegranate red, but she does not interrupt. Her companions all look pissed or jealous. Surely a good sign. Sounds wonderful. Not liking this marriage of my sister, though. My brother-in-law's zealous absolver. I wonder if my spy master working there means that she's not defending me from this current plot that's going on. Which does make me worry a bit. Disrupt schemes. Yeah, maybe you should do that instead since there's somebody actively trying to kill me. Jake, you might want to widen the children investment portfolio and seek other opportunities. Nonsense. We're zealous. Then again, we are also ambitious. Ambition for, uh, ambitious for lots of kids. An attempt on my life. I throw away my covers the moment I feel something rush against my leg. The swift moment only agitates the spider. Hmm. This is undoubtedly the work of that vile churl king. King Malcolm! How could it be? You lose an opinion of King Malcolm for he tried to murder me. All close family members and spouse of you lose opinion of King Malcolm. Ooh. Right, what do I do to old Malky here then? I mean, surely I am just in murdering the guy. That would take forever to do. Hmm. This is great, Jake. I don't know if it's so great that King Malcolm wants me dead. I mean, I've had plenty of reasons to, to go to war with him anyway, you know, for my claim on Scotland, but he's too superior to me. Unpopular king means all other vassals get up in his face. Really? This is showing their opinion of me. I want to know their opinion of him. Can you join a faction, Jake? That I don't know. Against my liege, perhaps? Liberty faction? Yes, yeah, screw that. Create uh, an independence faction? Independence? Uh, do I really want independence? 
Perhaps I wish to say that I am the claimant of, uh, of the King of Scotland. And then everybody wants to back me up because they all hate him and they like me more. That's what I'm thinking. How you like that, Malcolm? Factions military power at 80%. What? That seems quite high. <laughs> Even though it's just me. <laughs> the faction to install Mal Schnechtai of Mori on the Scottish throne. Alright, we need some people, but nobody wants to join in right now. Cannot be forced to join, yeah, but maybe they can be swayed to join. Press demands. Well, I can't do that for a while, although I could send ultimatums. Perhaps I should try to sway people to my side. For example, the Duke of Lothian. Perhaps you could be blackmailed. in order to get that hook. He might accept, but I don't know. Hmm. Fife might want to join, but Fife is tiny. This guy's huge, and he's got Edinburgh. So we know he has a lot of power. Right, I don't know if a hook is enough to get you to join me, though. I don't know enough about this hook lark, and it's not the biggest of chances either. I don't have the money for him either. Hmm. Alright, well, let's... Let's give it a go. Probably take a bit of time for that. Who else could be made to join this faction to instill me to the top? The murder scheme on me has been abandoned. Damn right it has. We're on top of the world here. Who else would I want to join me? I mean, there's something to be said for bringing in Fife because, uh... Oh, well, damn, you've got 700 folk. But you don't like me very much. How can I get people to join my faction? Request claim, gifts, wards, stewardships... Hmm, not happening. You need a hook first. Well, if I can get you on my side, black. Oh no! Whether it's a misguided sense of pride or fear of some greater reprisal, he claims that I held no sway over him. You become unable to expose or use it for blackmail or. or expose it. No, there's no point in doing that. I hate to admit it, but you've done me in there. At least he doesn't seem to hate me for it, but I've lost, uh, I've lost the ability to use it. I could try and sway him over to my side, so we'll give it a go. But I can't force them to join, and I don't know how, if any, uh, how anybody would willingly join. Discontent is growing. Military power isn't that great. Oh well, we'll see what happens with that. Has the king any kids that he doesn't want murdered or kidnapped? Asking for a friend. He's got a bunch of kids. Don't know what I'd do with them. You know, if I became the King of Scotland, it would just be all this trouble for me as well. Did I abandon the scheme of uh, loving my wife for this? Possibly. How's that going for you, Malcolm? Because it looks like it's not going that great. Oh, he's winning. He's winning. Fighting elite quality in seven nights with his own superior in nine nights. I see, so we got these things that show quality, but numbers are beating quality pretty hard here. Numbers and advantage. Good job, Malcolm. Did Frostpunk teach you nothing? Get those wee bairns to work and eat the dead to give you a competitive advantage. Frostpunk taught me a lot of things. I just need to know how to use those lessons here on CK.
Your neighbour, King Harold, has won against the Bubidabub in a conquest for some place. Very well. Can you hire some men at arms? Probably, but my money isn't too great. Ooh. So, uh, how about that whole giving me a child? Ah, but we're in the middle of a scheme, so I can't really change that out right now. There we go. Blow up like a balloon, my wife. Now, I'm zealous and you're zealous, so we're probably going to have a zealous kid, which seems odd because it's all Catholicism here. It's Catholicism for miles around. But it means that everybody's showing up on court that's not that. It's going to have a bad time. I imagine if somebody would have joined my faction, they would have done it by now. Military? No, that's the wrong one. Discontent's going down because power's below the threshold. That isn't good. And we can't get these people to join us. But I'm trying to sway one of them. We'll see how it goes. Cross your fingers it's a sun, or your woes have only just begun, says Barcode. 50 50, right? I'm sure my wife wouldn't betray me by gobbing out a woman out of her barren womb. Well, one can hope. Jake, the chat is in front of the Sway UI. Uh, I need to find a better place for that chat, but I'm not finding anything so far. If it's a boy, it's Marvin. If it's a girl, it's Rita. Rita Schnachtai. Top left, maybe? Yeah, but that's kind of what ends up top left quite often, so I don't have a good answer for that. Adaptive chat positions. Alright, well. Okay, we have swayed... Mr. Lothian. I don't know if that's going to make him join this faction. Because our power has gone way too low. Too weak to send an ultimatum. Discontent is way too low. Can't make anybody join. Ah, here's opinion of Liege. Right, that's a problem. God, you two both love the Liege. Why? What happened to all that hatred? I don't think we'd stand much of a chance with that. Maybe just slide it up a bit. I mean, I could I could put it there or so. But then that really covers the things that pop up there. Unless we put it there. Doesn't look great. Looks very not great, actually. Ah, oh, well, just deal with it. Ledger's not a vital no, but a lot of things pop up here. Mmm, there is the option just to do that. I don't like that, but we'll give it a go. My son! Damn right! What would you, what name would befit a Duke? Marvin, of course. May you be strong and wise, my son. All right, Marvin, you're next in line. Not that I have a lot to give off to you. <laughs> is Marvin a good Scottish name? It is now. All right, I, I really struggle at knowing how to move forward in this game. Feels like I'm just moving sideways or not at all. But maybe that's the point. Maybe we're going to exercise a bit of um, a bit of patience. This war is already won. One for Galloway. I wonder if I can join it at the last minute to. Um, hmm. I can enforce demands. That doesn't seem right. I could surrender. That's also quite funny. 
No, no, this isn't me doing anything. It's just me uh, observing it. But I wonder if I can join his war. No, just declare war. Oh, no, I can offer to join his war. Yeah, why not? You have joined the war. Yes, I have. Don't expect me to do much. Although I could, you know, raise my armies and go and conquer Sutherland. Jake, keep an eye on your spy master. Why would I do such a thing? Spy master's doing fine, probably. I mean, they're still working to disrupt schemes. We don't know any know of any of those right now. Your liege won the war. <laughs> my contribution zero. I get nothing. Your contribution was lower than the required hundred. You gain nothing. Very well. There goes our army then. Mm hmm. What are you doing and what can we have you do? Could have you find some more secrets over at King Malcolm's. You almost marched into enemy land. Surely that's worth something. No, it, it's clearly worth nothing. Now, I imagine that you're going to be very happy with, uh, with Malcolm, because he pressed your claim. Yes, but you're still unhappy about a bunch of other things. How long does that last? Till 91. 20 years of it. That's quite good. Wrathful. Wonderful. Would hiring a better steward net you more money? Would probably make my vassals even more unhappy than they already are. Because my current steward is my... Oh, he's a steward and knight, and he's god awful at what he does. Doesn't really matter if I make you unhappy now, does it? Who's got the best stewardship around? Oh god, the everyone I have is terrible. My knight, my martial vassal and knight, but you're currently doing a great job. Go figure. They can fight from Keith. Could have my knight do it, but that's, I suppose, okay. Oh god, my chancellor is awful. But he'd be very unhappy being kicked out. I'm left wondering if it's really for the better for me to claim this land for myself over in the northeast. At what point do you get the food production upgrades needed for deep fried Mars bars and whiskey? Don't they have whiskey already? I'm sure the Mars bars are right around the corner though. Logging camps. Finished in Mori. There we go. Get some actual money coming out of Elgin now. Woodcutters set up camps along the outskirts of the forest, working long days cutting down trees. Could upgrade that further. To make even more dosh. But well, that's quite expensive. I'd rather save up my money, as I always do. A helping hand. Your Chancellor recently found himself in a bit of trouble. Is this the, the new one that I, uh, that I put up? Or the old... Whoa. Plenty going on right now. No, this is a useless Chancellor. Uh... I made sure the situation resolved itself, and to mention you as the benefactor. Excellent. Uh, a hook on this vassal might be useful for kicking him out and not having any harm done. Yes. We'll see what we can do with that. Lollards. Yeah, but Essex is a million miles away from me. The High Duke of Essex has announced to the world he and his vassals have converted to Lollardy. Having become disillusioned with the teachings of the Catholic priests, the nobles of Essex no longer consider the clergy to be righteous and true. Twisted mockery. Oh god, no. The hell is that? That would surely be stressful, right? We're a zealot. Yeah, well, not happening, though. It's a twisted mockery is what it is. 
And there we go, there's the Lollards. Oh, right in Middlesex. <laughs> Smite them, Jake. I'd love to, but they're a million miles away. Also, didn't England used to be a bit more... Oh, there we go. A bit more in one piece, but I was looking at uh, duchy titles. Okay, I've got a hook, and I can't help but feel that I should be using that hook, because I have this guy as a useless chancellor. Ooh, ooh right. all, all sorts of stuff getting in the way. Revoke his title. They incur tyranny unless you have a cause. A hook is available. But I'm not sure I really want to do that. Hmm. How does the hook work? Doesn't seem to change anything here. Maybe it uh, changes the accept part. Well, it's not really what I'm looking to do. I'm just looking to have a better chancellor here. And who would be better? My knight. He's not a mal schnachtai, but he is pretty good. Whatever you do, the other guy gets unhappy. Too bad for him. They want to cause an uproar. Again, too bad for them. If I just had something to bring you in here. But these two love the leash, so that's not going to happen. You hate them, but you still don't want to join. Hmm, what a shame. Oh no, <laughs> Lollard heresy is spreading down there. I became the culture head great since the Isles got struck down a bit. We're now the top, uh, top Gaelic man. You can declare wars. Yeah, they're not great wars though. It's either on all of Norway or... Hmm? The petty... King what's his face was imprisoned by William the Conqueror of England and I could declare war on him for our claims I would claim uh, claim the title he's vastly superior though because it would be against all of Norway well that's not happening funnily enough Get some hooks in those guys. Maybe you can force them to join your faction. Well, we're doing some espionage over in the king's court, but maybe it shouldn't be done in the king's court. Maybe it should be done on the others, like Lothian or Strathclyde. Anybody to topple King Malcolm. Damn vassals, all they do is plot to overthrow you. We had more discontent, but it comes and it goes. Lothian's really top dog, but he hate uh, he loves loves the overlord, so you're not a good choice. What happened to Fife? You're no longer an option for some reason. Someone joined your faction, did they? I must have missed that. Two members. Ah. Oh, Fife did join in. Not a huge contribution, but uh we're getting there. Swell. Well, wow, the guy that I was smack talking ends up being the one to join. Right, the best bet would probably be with Duke Michangel. Or I could consider you, but you, you two love the guy, so I sincerely doubt you want to join. You're sadly probably the better choice. I'm not keen on swaying for that. I want you to be part of my uh... oh I could fabricate a hook you can keep fabricating hooks at da -da -da's court yeah nah, you'd probably just find me out on that one I should just go and sniff for some secrets there once you've done your next bit of sniffing I'm gonna send you over and see if we can't figure that part out Jake do you think this will be a fun multiplayer experience with friends 
I, I haven't seen the appeal of uh, CK multiplayer before. I've also not been uh, big on it. Despite our best efforts, our agents have uncovered no secrets there. There's something going on in the shadows. I need a bit more time. If there is anything, we shall find it. Is it still going to take forever? Yeah, it is going to take forever. But I'm going to switch you over here instead. Ah, so there's more chance of secrets to be found depending on where I send you. Zero chance of learning a secret. Some places zero, some places not. I wonder if that's a cultural thing or not. In any case, I'm not having much luck sending you there. I'd probably be better off sending you here then. But this isn't an option either. No, it is. It is. Where's your capital then? Right there. Get to work. Find those secrets. MPC K ends up as a murder for Yeah, I mean, I, I was flying the wall for a lot of internal CK2 multiplayer stuff. And, uh... Whew. That man, Altner. I needed money. He just kept sending me money in exchange for my children. A good trade in, uh, in my books. I don't want to know what he was doing with them, though. I think he was forcing his culture wherever he could. For his own twisted ideas of joy. Good man. I did not sway this guy in Lothian, but maybe it's not worth my try on you. Perhaps I should try an Athel. If I recall well, in CK2, mm, murdering someone used to just be spend money, receive effect. Am I correct about that one? I seem to recall it being a source of much frustration. Can you claim your fellow vassals' lands? So I don't think my vassals have much in the way of titles that I can enforce. Let's see. No, that's Malcolm. I'm not I'm not the big cheese like him. So there's you, and you've just got uh, Buchan. Buchan, sorry. I should know my own places here. And then there's you, and that's all you've got. Not a whole lot. And there's you, again, a whole lot of not much. And then there's Keith. And the rest is just stuff I hold on to, right? And there's, there's my bishop. Not quite sure how the whole bishop stuff works. Why does a bishop get land but not be my vassal? I don't know, but I'll find out someday. I was very... Oh, it was very early CK2, but it was true. It was later back, and it is an option. Ah, yes, another child. Let's keep those pumping out. Night of Meh clocking in at 70 months, saying when you've subbed longer than your longest relationship. That makes this the longest relationship night. Where are the heirs? Discontent grows. I wonder if you joined because you like me. I'm going to assume that's why, which is all the more reason that I need to sway more of your vassals to liking me. Preferably the powerful vassals. But they don't seem to like me that much. Gifts would always uh, lubricate things, I'm sure. How are you finding, Jake? Says Cal. I mean, I'm not finding it very well, but we'll get there. Well, or we won't, but it uh, depends on how much the game hooks itself into me. See, Mr. Lothian does love me, but the problem is he absolutely adores his liege. Oh, they're friends. There's no way he's going to backstab his friend. Strathclyde man, though. Are you the guy that I'm currently trying to sway? No, I'm trying to sway some other guy that I... Oh, yeah, an Athel. Right, how about you? How about I just straight up dunk some money on you? Because you don't like the king at all. And I could just send you a oh, hundred and ninety. That's a lot of money. Doesn't last that long either. Whatever, let's give it a go.
Mm hmm. I failed to find any secrets. However, the truth does not stop us. It'd be simple to make sure that Malpater suddenly did have secrets. My uncle? I don't care about my uncle. <laughs> grateful. Grateful because I didn't do him in there. Honestly, Jake, might be better just to save your money from mercenaries. Well, I already dunked it, so can't say anything about that. Okay, we got ourselves a new perk coming up here. Inspiring rule. Monthly prestige. Or, how about that opinion gift, uh, opinion game from Send Gift? Too little and much too late right now. Inspiring rule. Offer vassalization. Commission epics. Life of glory and dignitas. Yeah, that doesn't sound very good. Children receive one to three extra skill points. Oh, that sounds like the Schnechtai way. Might also be an option to arrange an unfortunate accident for the fellow vassals who like the big cheese a bit too much. That sounds incredibly dangerous. What are you up to right now? You're still trying to figure out some sways. Ah, another son. After an ancestor. Debachen. Oh, that's good. No chat names? Not yet. I'll set something up for names, uh... If we end up getting into this. Make sure to educate your spawn. Oh, I completely forgot about that being a thing. Educate the child. Who's going to do it? I mean, I could do it, right? Ah, we managed to sway. Excellent. Maybe you will join my faction then. Uh, right. Who, 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 who can we have teach you? And why... Why would it be a problem for me to teach you? Surely you should learn the ways from the proper man. That's me. Or am I about to find that it's the wrong way around and he's educating me? Who knows? Marvin Machmile Schnechtai. <laughs> the good old Mal Schnechtai name. I wonder if I can betroth you to somebody already. Who would be worth doing that to? Don't know. I do not know. Knowing you, Jake, you'd learn a lot from a zero-year-old. <laughs> yeah, see them play that game where you have to put uh, blocks and cylinders into the holes. Can't wait to see your simian brains in action, Dark Young. Right, well, are people joining that good old faction of mine yet? It doesn't seem so. I've swayed you, and I've swayed you, and I've gifted you, but you don't want to join. Jings, you got a lot of troops. It would be great if you joined me. Well, we're doing what we can. If you can get your kid betrothed to a daughter of the King of Norway, you'd have a big advantage. A daughter, eh? Well, there's a princess. How about we arrange your marriage? Not matrilineal, of course. No valid characters found. What's so wrong about it being Marvin? Oh, it has to be your own court, I see. Does it though? How, how can't I just grab... Uh... Ah, we still have the Gaelic thing going on. Right, I need to work... I need to figure out the, uh, the character thing a lot better than I have it right now. Princess, arrange marriage. Marvin. Will accept, oddly enough. Hmm. 
Sure, why not? You got any more princesses? I don't believe I'll find anything either. There's less going on here than the graveyard at noon. Very well, you do know best. Excellent. Let's worm our way in. Let's worm our way in. Alliance formed? I don't think I quite agreed to that. I call on you to honour our alliance and join me in the Norwegian invasion of England. That's, that's a bit, um... It's a bit prompt, but I'm going to have to, of course. Yeah. <laughs> joins the invasion of England as an attacker. If you're attacking, then surely you're confident that you're going to take them on proper, so... Sure thing. I bet I get nothing out of this. Well, maybe steamrolled by the English. It's alright, it's nothing new. Got any more daughters? Yeah, she's 26, but, um... It's all the more reason to take over, right? Ah, she's also already married for now. Yeah, there are a lot of English there, sir. Wait, hang on, are you inviting me to another war? <laughs> what are you on about, man? Sure, why not? We'll just join all the war. You're gonna need husbands for all the widows you just created, not daughters. That would be okay. You'll get a big opinion boost, meaning you can call in the Vikings to help install you on the Scottish throne. Well, I'll get an opinion boost with old mad king of Norway himself, but he's getting on in years, isn't he? He's 58. Personal diplomacy, also a zealous Catholic. Yeah, I suppose that's good. So all these uh, fancy things happening around here. Looked awful fancy, but maybe it's because I was in war, uh, at war. At least the English are just making a line there and not trundling their way into my land, but... All these wars now. Fighting wars I don't know or care about. Wait, France as well? Maybe it is better that I just stay at home for now. You'll not have much to rule over if the invasion succeeds. <laughs> at least it'll be my good friend over there in uh, Norwegian England. I'm more concerned about my own faction power here, though. Discontent is growing, though. That's good. Um, There are fewer members to add now. Why would that be? I'm surprised that... Uh, Mahangal of Strathclyde has not joined me now, because you really aren't fond of the liege. That pressed claim thing's really getting in my way, though. Uh, let's see, I sent you a gift, but I haven't swayed you. Perhaps we should start a little scheme on that one, make you like me even more. Good, I'm not sure the English even know I exist right now. Yeah, they're more interested in sailing off over to Norway and actually kicking their arse reasonably well. And I can't imagine I'll get a lot out of sieging down England for myself. <laughs> Kingdom of Sweden. Joke nation. Barely even a nation. Greetings, Duke Mile Schnechta. I have heard good things about you, and I am interested in starting a written conversation. Hope this letter finds you willing, for I am awaiting your swift reply. Letters frame it in my hall. <laughs> uh, I'd lose stress for for that. Why would I lose stress? Uh, 
arrogant, temperate, wrathful. I don't see any reason why the, uh, refusing that plays into my characteristic. Maybe I'm too ambitious for him. In any case, I need that opinion of him so that he would consider installing me as the rightful king of Scotland. My son and heir Marvin is an unusually calm child. When others play their wild games, he often withdraws to the silent corner. He does not speak a lot. And I can tell he's always thinking about something. Pensive. That doesn't sound that great, but sure. Thanks for your swift response. I'm looking forward to our correspondence. Please, I implore you, pick the first subject for us to discuss. Let's see, he's wrathful and... Quick to anger, but uh, enjoy things in moderation. I guess those can go hand in hand. War stories is not much of a martial individual. Please, tell me about investment opportunity. I'll send a gift to show my appreciation. You believe he's a man that values material things. Investments. Arrogant, temperate, wrathful, indulgent waster. Hmm... I don't know about that. <laughs> it feels like one of those Death Road to Canada ones. Can one of them be giving me your stuff? Okay, well, if he's wrathful, perhaps he'll enjoy hearing about my war stories. Learn about cultures. Cultures represent many things. Pfft. Doesn't mean a lot up here. Are you trying to make me feel like an idiot? Your last letter was so full of blah da blah da 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 da. Oh my. Oh, okay. Well, that didn't go well. Didn't go well at all. Oh my god. Mad king of Norway is bringing me against all these fights. Are we still trying to sway this guy? I'm already scheming about. Okay, well, that's a shame. Looks like he wasn't impressed by your story of almost crossing to enemy territory once. Hey, I conquered all of Buchan. What's he done? Well, he had land conquered for him. Still, can't forget that this is a guy that I'm trying to make join my faction against King Malcolm. But uh, discontent is growing. I could send an ultimatum soon, but that's that's dangerous. I mean, I am in four wars right now. Defeat. We lost the war against... Well, that's kind of good since that... Um, you gain nothing, that's fine. It's kind of good because now I'm not immediately at war with, uh, with all these big cheeses. And we did manage to sway him despite our poor letter writing or penmanship. But will that make him join our faction or not? God, now he's in love with the, the king again? Oh, they became friends. Yes, victory! We won the war! Every country in the faction, locals, pack, yeah, whatever. Probably means nothing for me. I'm just being good and friendly with the king of Norway, who would, of course, help me in my war. Eh? Eh? Similar. Maybe I should wait for Norway to lick its wounds from its uh, its beatings. Mm, four wars. Might have to consider raising an army. Well, there's many things we can consider, but mostly I want to topple Malcolm. Again, it's just me and Fife. Hate to say it, but I don't think we stand the biggest chance here. Send the ultimatum to get thrown at so that's kind of the plan here, but we'll we'll see what we can get. Scotland has six thousand five hundred men. How is that similar? Uh, I imagine it's counting all of Norway's troops. Now, whether or not Norway gets their troops over here to help me, I don't know. But I think if they do come and help me, that's a big boon. You can send an ultimatum at any time. The faction will send an ultimatum. If accepted, it'll be fulfilled. If it does not, there'll be civil war. Faction leader is a player, so demands can be sent in spite of discontent and military faction. Da -da 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 -da. 
Discontent is a measure of how close a faction is to issuing an ultimatum. The military threshold, da 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 da. Alright, but because I'm a player, I can do it whenever. Oh, and look who just joined! It was not the guy I was hoping it would be. Instead, it's Strathurn. But not Strathclyde. Come on, Strathclyde, join my freaking faction. Would you sign my petition? Wouldn't I don't think it would hurt to wait out a bit on that. Wait, no, but it, they became friends, right? Ah, he's never gonna, he's never gonna take part in that. Let's see what uh, what becomes of this then. I don't know if he will d uh, give in or not. Probably not. Delay sending an ultimatum until your heir is of age. Regencies are miserable, but not as bad if your heir is your regent. Yeah, but. My heir is way too young, right? Four and two? I can't wait forever. There's no way he's going to listen to this, right? No way at all. He's going to raise an army and crush us all. And we don't have Norway to help us out. So I should really hold off for a bit. Uh, I should stop trying to sway you if you became friends with, uh, with him. What can I do then? You've got a lot of love for Malcolm there, don't you? Apparently I'm a powerful vassal, but I could only take on one of his other powerful vassals, let alone all the others getting involved. Wait until Norway smacks down those other two wars. Shouldn't take long. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Norway deals with these two, both of which they're winning. And then I fight the war, and hopefully Norway sends over every last man they've got to save us. Is the hook more powerful than French? I forget about hooks. Who do I have the hooks on? Also, how do you check to see where you have uh, hooks on people, or who you have them on? Forget about decisions. That's just not enough. Athel, you gotta join me. Yeah, it would take a long time for that. I don't think the hook's the way forward there. This guy's pretty damn good. Excellent diplomacy, good marshal, average stewardship. Scotland was well led at the time. Swaying infiltrators. It's come to my attention that some of the local commoners are moving to da 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 da. Locals, newly settled or not, praising me can surely do no harm. Uh, am I still swaying this guy? I wanted to stop doing that because he's uh, friendly with uh, the big cheese, so forget that. Uh, in that case, how do I stop that sway? Abandon scheme, there we go. And then th figure out what to do from there. Hmm. Groomed to rule. Debakins. Oh, I swear I saw a war pop up there. Diplomacy perk available though. Gotta check that out. Heart of the family. Close family opinion. Yeah, let's try and keep it in the family. Hmm. Tell you, these war scores have, uh, have died a death, haven't they? King Malcolm is being attacked by Duke Mardud. <laughs> the Foolish. Of Mercia? Oh my goodness. The War for Cumberland. 
Scotland would lose that, but I imagine that is Opportunity Knox. Is this the right moment to uh, to make good of this? I think it's time to press those demands. See what happens. Your claim on my title is no more real than the stories we tell children at night. No matter how many misguided fools you gather to help carry your scheme, I will not bend to such a collection of dung. I'd rather die than see my birthright to fall to someone so low. I believe it's time for war then, my friend. Let's raise those armies. They're probably not that great. <laughs> I'm probably not that great. Um, dear, oh dear. Maybe I should consider raising some even better anything. I have knights. I got these levies. Create a men-at-arms regiment? How much do these things cost to... Um, to maintain. That's what I'd like to know. Also, how do I call in my good friend Norway? Call to war. Of course they'll accept. I have to spend for that? Well, whatever. Join my... Uh... Wait, I'm also at war still with Cumberland? That seems dangerous. There we go. Of course I shall join you. Our foes shall learn to fear the man of Norway. <laughs> yeah, good thing I had that prestige to spend. Now what else can we do to bolster ourselves up? Mercenary scumbags. Border Reavers. Cumbrian men of Cumberland. The thing is, they, they cost a lot, but how do I know how much they cost to uh, to maintain? That I don't know. If you click on them, you'll get a tooltip about them. Oh, I get a three-year contract. And they seem fairly well led. Band of the Horn. I'm a little tempted. At war with Liege. Seems like a pretty good idea. Let's try it. Ah, here they are. So is that a lot of us? Do we just go for it? Are they immediately there? Yeah, there's the border reavers with us. Well then, let's get to work. I've got a title to gain. So, Danish claim, I can ignore that. The war for Duke Malschnachtai's claim on the Kingdom of Scotland. That's what we're all about here. Uh, attackers trump defenders, but they include a lot of Norwegians that aren't here right now. Watch for terrain dis slash advantages. Yeah, I certainly will. Right, are you my friend or foe? I'm guessing foes are in red, and that you are my friends, and that you're currently sieging this down. Oh my, oh! <laughs> Scotland versus Scotland, so I have now claimed that I am Scotland. Oh man, this is a trouble with Scotland. Okay. Let's get down there and meet up with our, what I suppose are allies. There's Lothian, not getting his ass kicked, sadly. But if we're here, surely we'll be able to take down uh, this fort in no time. And you're busy dealing with the English scum, or sorry, the Mercian scum. There we go. Hey, valuable hostage captured. I took King Malcolm's son. Oh, 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 oh. oh, well. Well, well, well. It's a real shame for you. No, that's stupid. No, that's three days. Oh, I took King Malcolm's other son. Oh. Could ransom for f not a lot. Hmm. 
I think we'll be keeping the both of you. What? I already have 78 war score? Captured air plus 50. Oh. <laughs> Scotland is mine, my friend. All mine. He'll not accept. Okay, so what, you need 100% war score to tear your way through? Wish it was a bit easier to see where I'm at war with. Because it's really not. Lynn Lisko. It's gotta go. Maybe it's maybe it's allied. No, it's definitely not allied. It's going down. Yeah, I'm having a very hard time seeing who's friend or foe here. Capturing the king himself always gives you 100%. So yeah, prisoners are powerful. The question is, why aren't you... Who aren't you at war with? <laughs> it wasn't meant to go this way. But if I end up king of Scotland, then it was all the right decision. Oh, wow. Together we are brutalizing this place. And who, who's that? I know that's that, but I'm wondering who is leading that. I don't suppose King Malcolm himself is actually leading any of these, um, these regiments, is he? I wouldn't know. Anyway, just stick with me in the siege, friend. We'll get this done in no time. Although, if you keep abandoning ship here, Linlithgow is going to take longer and longer. I think it said band of something, so probably merc scum. Fair enough, our mercs are a lot uh, less scummy than theirs. They're working on Angus, that'll be their undoing. Ah! My Duchess. Pregnant once again. She knows what matters. Please ignore the raving hordes of Englishmen to the south. That's, a, that's what I'm working on here. There we go. Down you go. 96% war score. And he still won't accept. How do I change that? I don't want to beat up my potential new vassals that quickly. But you are Kingdom of Scotland army. So I should probably go and give you a bit of what's for. Right click to march here. There we go. For some reason I wasn't able to do that. Alright, you Scottish bastards. Time to die. Aha! Captain Canall! Captain Canall says it's time for victory. There's a small problem. If I become the King of Scotland, I'm suddenly at war with Mercia. Maybe I'll just give them the stupid place. Hmm. Or maybe the war will be over because it's not against him anymore. I don't know. We'll find out, won't we? Let's enforce that demand. Your appetites are renowned throughout the world. You're a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. We are now... Oh, every faction member gains a weak hook on me. Wasn't aware that that would be uh, so grim, but look at that! We've become Alba! Uh, we are still at war with Mercia for some reason. That doesn't look like a war that I'm going to win anytime soon. How are the numbers stacking up here? Oh! Ho -ho. What happens when we win? They pay money. Hmm. Norway, are you helping me out with Mercia here? Uh, wrong guy. There you are. Of course he'll accept. He loves me. And it's a defensive war. Oh, baby. It's a de jure war. The claim never goes away. It's likely. And that's that's England, but they're, they're Mercia, right? Or is he claiming it for... Uh, Brenich, probably. There's probably... Oh, right, it's E to go back to that. I should keep that in mind. Right, well, I still have my army and my mercs. And I now have a bunch of probably loyal subjects willing to fight and die for me. 
dynasty bastard legitimized. Virtuous Prince Bishop celebrated. Siege one, joins, joins, yeah, fine. I don't care about that Danish war, but I care a lot about that Mercian war. Mercy is way too big, what's up with that? And yet, you bow to William the Conqueror. Mm, I don't know about that, England. I think Mercy is a bit too powerful. Check to see if your new court is competent. This is the same court as we had before, right? It's never been that competent. What I'm more worried about is my uh, my vassals. Let's see, realm, powerful vassal, powerful vassal. Everyone's a powerful vassal. I don't have any power for myself. How do I get more power for myself? I think I'm a bit dressed, a bit better dressed than before. Looks might be deceiving. Check how many troops Mercia has. Yeah, I know. I am far more powerful than Mercia is right now. Even more so when uh, when Norway joins my war. But I'm more thinking how best to deal with the situation. William does Eurystostrats and his ally to France. Revolting against him is suicidal. You need to rearrange your council with the new vassals. Yeah, well, I need to keep the powerful vassals in check, don't I? Oh, right. Well, for one, here's my archbishopric, uh, who's unmarried and in Moray, and probably not the best man for the job. But I can't. Hmm. My chancellor and knight, the magnanimous villain. It's good and all, but I need a... How do I do this, then? Is it power? Do I want to check uh, powerful vassals? Probably. Relevance, power, rank, age, opinion, military strength, diplomacy. Whoa. Hmm. Duke Malcolm. Duke Malcolm? <laughs> he hates my guts. He's still my rival. But he's still way too powerful. I can't just be, uh, be away with him. They should have little red fists to signify that they're powerful. I can see that, but there are a lot of them. Right, well, there's no way I'm ever going to get you happy, so you're certainly not having any power here. But you are very good at everything, especially diplomacy. Which makes this a painful one. However, yes, the Duke of Lothian... He's good at it as well. Nowhere near as good, but still a decent choice, I'd say. There we go. That should make you a bit happier with me. My steward and knight. Well, that's all good and well, but I got other people that I need to consider for the job. Anybody with good... Again, Malcolm is too good and he's too many things. Right, Strathclyde is currently under siege. Might not be ours for much longer. Buchan counts as powerful? In what world? In what world is that considered powerful? Hmm. Spy on the Duke. When you find him scheming, kick him again harder. Surprised I couldn't just kill him because he... Actually, maybe I still can, right? Will not accept success chance minus 113%. I have just cause to remove you. You tried to kill me. But for some reason, people don't see it that way. Hmm. Ah, well, there's a thought. I do have his kids imprisoned. I could use that to get a hook on him, and then, uh, then get rid of him. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, I lost my train of thought there. I was trying to make my council full of people that matter. The Duke of Strathclyde, you should almost certainly have a position here, and you're not too shabby at stewardship, so there you go. Keep you relatively happy. The County of Keith. You know, you're not really somebody worth considering, even though you're brilliant at it. 
Do we have somebody perhaps similarly good? Yeah, <laughs> Duke Malcolm, of course. No, I think you're going to keep that, Mr. Keith. For some reason, you're just too damn good at it. Spy Master, though. For that, we need somebody who's intriguing. Oh, it's Keith Man again. He's, he's good for the job. My sister. Hmm. I'm a bit worried about... No, I'm not worried about you. I've kicked you down before. I need a good way of keeping an overview of my subjects and knowing who wants me dead and who doesn't.